This real word looks like it should be pronounced as Zizikshonwa, but is actually pronounced as Sha. It's of Maori origin where it can mean up to three different things. Drum, fife, or even just conclusion. But here's the thing. There's no way that's true, right? Like, no one would ever spell a word this crazily and pronounce it as Sha. And even if they did, Maori origin? Maori doesn't use the letter Z, X, or J. And besides, Maori doesn't even produce the sound sh. But I'm not lying to you. This is a real word used by multiple sources and even shows up in a dictionary. So what's going on? It all started in 1903 when Rupert Hughes published The Musical Guide, a dictionary on different musical terms. At the very end of this book, he includes sha, of Maori origin, which he defines as drum, fife, and conclusion. That's it. No explanation, no citation, nothing. But linguists love new words, and so logologists took it and ran. It started appearing in sources all over the place, even over a century later, despite the fact that there was no actual evidence for its existence. The general consensus nowadays is that it was probably just a hoax. But why? Was Hughes malevolent? Was he trying to dupe other logologists? Probably not. In fact, it was probably just a joke. Think about how obvious it is. The ridiculous spelling, the nonsense pronunciation. Anyone with even a passing knowledge of Maori would know that's not a Maori word. And the most condemning piece of evidence, in my opinion, is the fact that Shaw was the last word in the dictionary, which means it was the conclusion to the dictionary, and its definition is conclusion. Hughes probably thought the joke was so obvious, he didn't even think he had to explain it. Okay, so it was just a joke, but even then, where did the spelling and pronunciation come from? Well, one possible explanation for why it was pronounced as Shaw was as a jab at George Bernard Shaw, who was a controversial playwright and rhetorician at the time. Seriously, look this guy up. He sucked. Oh, and regarding spelling, it was probably just given two Z's at the very beginning so that it would come at the very end of the entry list for that conclusion joke. But I did find this random crackpot theory by a random Wikipedian. He claims that Hughes probably wanted a drum roll before the conclusion to his night so he could catch some Z's before giving his affection to his lover, Joan W.